Good evening, Diaz. Manny G back with you again. Going to do a post-game Celtics analysis on the tough loss tonight to Toronto. The Celtics were beaten by 20 points, 111 to 91. Obviously, they didn't bring their A game with them to Toronto, and Toronto sent a message tonight. And they sent a message to the Celtics saying that we're for real, and you better take us seriously. A couple of game notes. Terry Rozier played 24 minutes and led the Celtics with 18 points on 5 of 12 shooting and 4 of 5 from 3 point land. Kyrie Irving was second with 22 minutes played, 17 points. He was 6 of 12 from the field and 2 of 6 from 3 point range. Kyrie only playing 22 minutes shows me that he's still a little bit nicked up and obviously he wasn't a full goal. Marcus Morris, who was a game time decision, led the Celtics in minutes with 30 minutes played, which is kind of crazy to me because. If a guy that you're not sure of it's going to play until up until the game leads your team in minutes, it's not a good sign. The rebounding was kind of okay. 39-38, Toronto gets the advantage, but I think where Toronto won this game was the three-point shooting. Uh, they made seven more three-pointers in the Celtics, so you could count that as seven extra points. And Kyle Lowry, 23 points, led the game, game high 23 points. 6-13 from the field. He did miss five three-pointers, but he also made six, and he had eight rebounds. So their point guy had eight rebounds tonight, which is a big-time disadvantage. A um, couple of role players did some good things, but for the most part, the reason why they lost was the bench for the Raptors outscored the Celtics 61-51. So there's your ten points. They made seven more threes. There's seven, and the others... Four points are probably made about three throws. Check in with me tomorrow for some more Patriots hot stove news as well as coverage on the rest of the week for Boston sports. Have a good night, diehards. Sleep well.